guys is G with Test Bros. And if you're like me and you're out of warranty and you just got the error message saying that you need to change your 12 volt battery, then you're gonna have to pay for it. You could get a lead acid battery for roughly around $169 plus tax. And then if you pay someone to install it, it's probably gonna be a little bit over 200. Or you could get the lithium based battery from Omu. And this, according to their website, is a lot better for multiple reasons. For example, it has better reliability. They offer a four year warranty. Uh, they're longer lasting, they're lighter. They increase capacity, more power, which means that your subwoofers and amplifiers improve actually, your sound quality improves. Um, it's less waste, right? It's not lead acid and it has efficiency advantages. So this goes for around 400 plus, but they do give you that four year warranty. So you feel a lot better um, installing something that will last you for quite a while. Again, I've had my car for about two years. So that was kind of the time frame of when I got my error message. So we're gonna be showing you how to install this. It's not too hard and how to do it yourself. But first, there are just a couple things that you need to have to install this. Obviously, you need a Omu battery. You can buy it on our website as well. We are a distributor for Omu now. Um, man, this is light. And then all you need is a 10 millimeter ratchet. This is all you need um, to dislodge the other battery. And then we'll show you what to do next to get everything ready and you don't hurt yourself. So the first thing that you want to do is we are going to be cutting power off this car. So you want to make sure that all your windows are rolled down just in case you need to be able to get in. And then the other thing is I like to just keep the doors open just in case um, it doesn't open again. And then the next thing after you do that is you're going to go to your menu and then you're going to go to safety security and then just power off your car. So the next step is to disconnect the high voltage connector. So all you have to do is there's a clip right here. I'll show you once this is already unlatched, but I'll show you this is the clip. And what it is is there's a little latch over here and it goes in and all you have to do is just pull it out, um, I guess away from you, just gently. Don't do it too hard, it will come off. Uh, I've done that before. So just kind of gently do it and it'll dislodge the seat. And then there's another one for the other side. And once you do that, all you have to do is take out this black box over here, just put it on the seat. And then from here on out, you just pull this down. And then you have disconnected the high voltage. So just leave that there. And then we're ready to switch out the 12 volt. All right guys, so now that we have everything set up, I want to introduce you to our wrap shop assistant, Brad over here. Hello. And he's going to be helping us uh, install this. He also has a background with electric electricity, being an electrician. So, Something like that. So, uh, or a scientist, I'm going to call it like that. Um, so he's going to be explaining some of those electrical stuff that I don't know about. So the first step is to make sure you remove this top. So we're going to go ahead and remove this on both sides. And all you have to do is just, I like doing like quick pulls. And it's really about um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About 11 clips over here. So just keep in mind, these are really easy to just lift up. So once you do that, just make sure you put it in a safe place. And then you wanna remove this as well, the air vent. This one's the same thing, so just pull it up. And they're just four clips. And then just make sure you remove that. It kind of blocks the obstruction of the, the positive and the battery. So just remove that. And then as you see, you're gonna first remove the bolt over there that holds, it's like a bracket. And there are different variations and Sean does a good job in explaining um, there are different brackets available different depending on the model. Um, Sean from Omu. So just make sure you just loosen that up. kind of wiggle it around and then we like to put it in the front just so that we keep everything the same. So when you do this part, remember we disconnected the high voltage. Um, it's always recommended to remove the negative first and then the positive. So Brad's actually gonna explain why you wanna do that. Brad, you wanna explain that? Hey guys, so we like to disconnect your negative battery terminal first. 
Um, and what that does is kind of separates all the electricity from the car to just the battery. Um, and the only real safety precaution behind that is if you were to do this guy first, and as you're touching on him, if your spanner wrench comes over and touches anything else metal, you're going to create that arc and that little spark into everything. So if you disconnect this, you separate the power and there's no risk of sparks. So we're going to go ahead and remove the negative first, the black, the black one first. Super easy. Tuck it away and then just make sure you remove the rubber um, covering and then just remove that as well. So before we even put the battery in, or before we even take it out, uh, one thing to keep in mind is there is um, this little thing over here. And what this is, is it's for gas. So we actually don't need that. So we're gonna tuck that away later. But just make sure you remove that before you lift the battery. And before we, I guess, remove this and then put the new battery, um, I personally like to just put this adapters there's adapters over here and you can see that this is a lot bigger hole than the top so it goes in this goes in the bottom and this goes on the top so just go ahead and remove this and we're just going to go ahead and put these in place oh it was it's actually not size the same so just make sure that you have the right um, side if it's loose it means that it's in the wrong side so this looks good to me, and then now we're ready to remove the battery. Way lighter. This is yeah. This is significant light. You can really tell the difference. Oh already. yeah. And this thing is oh, this is really really heavy. I believe it. They said in the video like eight pounds, so super light. Also, when you're tightening this part, you don't want to over tighten it, but once you feel a little bit of tension, you should be good to go. You just don't want to make sure that it's loose, where it's rattling, of course, while you're driving. So, uh, the order of step is going to be the same thing. You're going to do the positive first, and then you're going to be doing the negative. Let's go ahead and connect that. Same thing with this, just don't over tighten. Once it's grasping, you should be good to go. You could already hear the car like start whirling and making these sounds uh, once that negative was connected. So now we're bringing 12 volt power to the car already. Awesome. So that's pretty much it. Uh, before you want to, I guess, like put all this back together, uh, maybe you want to check, but I already heard the sound, so I know it's good. So we're going to go ahead and put it back. Let's put the vent. Make sure you line it up because if you don't line it up and you go like this, it will break the clip. So just make sure you're lining it up. All right. So next step is to reconnect uh, the high voltage connector. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. So once that's installed, all you have to do is just remove this and then you're going to be connecting this again. So just be careful. And then once you push it in, it'll just lock just like that. And then just put the seats back, line it up, and then you'll hear a click. There you go. Sometimes you hear a click, sometimes you don't. Uh, that time I did hear a small click. I'm going to go to the other side. And then do the same for the other seat. There you go. So you are solid. And you can see that 
My screen used to say that there was no power and you're already set to go. All my doors were working and there's no issue. So guys, that is it. Super simple. Hopefully that helped you guys. You're going to be able to purchase this on our website at testbros.com. If you have any questions, just let us know at support at testbros.com and make sure you're following us on our social. We're going to try to come up with content uh, every single week. Every Monday we're going to be posting something. So just stay tuned, guys. Thank you.